just want to confirm the will. Uh, right here we got a. We need to make it back here. June seventeenth, right there. And uh, my last video I made is is valid. The will and testimony. I don't know how much money I'm making, uh, and that's the truth about me being an American citizen. Doesn't know how much money he has, but uh, he wants to make sure his affairs are settled in case someone kills him. And so uh, I just want to confirm this is June seventeenth. Miley Cyrus. Pretty much everything I have goes to her. Um, all right, so I wanted to take, make another video because uh, my understanding is some of them South Koreanos I heard what I said and they were concerned because they're going, well, you're not talking about me none. Uh, do you not like us? You don't want us to go fight the Ruskies? Well, uh, what I'll tell you is uh, you can do whatever you want. If you want to join us, you can. Um, I'm kind of more concerned right now with that North Korea situation. So I, I don't look over there and see, see Kim Yo Jong, and I, I, I'm just wondering, uh, is she gonna blow up a building, and is that gonna lead to her blowing up something else? Personally, uh, she wanted to blow up a building. If I was ever visiting North Korea, I would love to do that, especially if um, we get a nice safe distance and, and I get to shoot the weapon at it. Like maybe we could shoot some RPGs and then after we shoot some RPGs at it, um, then we could actually blow it up for real. Uh, maybe we could fly in the plane that blows it up. Because if we got a real nice bomber over there, uh, it'd be nice to, 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 to fly up there while, while you're bombing it, wouldn't it? But I don't know, I kind of want to watch it down close. All I'm saying is, uh, uh, I think the South Koreanos got enough on their plate right now, because I understand North Koreanos don't like us. And I understand that it's gonna be real tough to try to reach out to them, make a relationship happen. And I understand that when Kim Yo Jong hear me talking about how uh, I think it'd be best for her if her country um, had had became like a couple states or a few states in, in, in South Korea, because my understanding is South Korea's got a bigger population. But South Korea could actually benefit from North Korea uh, being a military partner if they ever needed to, to band together during a military conflict. And uh, it, it sure would be nice having access to that entire peninsula and it wouldn't be bad for South Korea having a border with China because uh, that's, that's a transport corridor, right? So, I mean, my understanding is that even though North Korea is, is, is bringing some baggage to the table if they partner with the South Koreans, um, the North Koreans would also benefit because they'd have that corridor of China. But let's face it, it's pretty easy to use a ship. Uh, but I don't know if, you, if you're if you using a ship, don't you have to pay docking fees or something like that if you're ever going into a big ass port? I'm not sure. Um, all I know is uh, the North Koreans don't want to go join with a bunch of Christians. And that that's the truth. And they don't want to go over there and uh, partner with these people that believe some bunch of bullshit. They think that shit's silly. And let's face it, they're not the only ones. Um, but the North Koreans, a lot of them, like Kim Yo-jong, my understanding, is she sees those Christians, the reason she gets so pissed off is they're so fucking nice and stupid at the same time. It's like, God, everyone wants to be so nice and stupid at the same time. So she's like, I don't want my people to be stupid. But then at the same time, she's like, but I actually do know how nice they are, and those damn South Koreans are very capable. They're very talented people. I admire the way they build their cities. They sure are good at uh, science and math. They're very impressive. So it's kind of hard to explain how you can be, you can have admiration for a group of people, but then at the same time, you have contempt for them because you're like, how are you so smart and stupid at the same time? And so what I tell her is, uh, all you got to do is just not care if they're Christians, and then they won't care if you're atheists. Because my understanding is South Korean are secular, like their government is secular. So um, if you have a secular government, you're allowed to have whatever religion you want. All right, I feel like a lot of people are sitting there going, well, this Taylor Swift story was stupid. What the fuck is this guy talking about? He's running for president, he's talking about Taylor Swift's his ex-girlfriend. Well, actually, I basically said that we ran together in the ranch. It wasn't really my ex-girlfriend. We were in an imaginary relationship for years, though, and we were in a very weird relationship. It was like, basically what happened was it all started with Dracula. She was coming out with that blank space music video, and uh, it, was the, it was like the day before, and I was writing in a blog, and I was told in my head, Talk about like how you were Dracula in the school play, and the next thing you know, uh, that music video shows up. And I'm like, Whoa, that was a weird situation, and that was the first time I started to believe it. And uh, but then all these people in Nashville, where I was living when I when I wrote the blog, I, I was living homeless and at, 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 basically at a church. Uh, like I was sleeping at the church, but I was sleeping in my car too. And uh, I was I was over there by Vanderbilt, and. Um, what happened is um, 
everyone kept talking to me about Taylor Swift all the time, even though I was trying to be a musician. But I felt like I was like already like an almost famous musician. It was like really confusing how like people knew who I was, but then they didn't know who I was. But then like some people did know who I was, but then like I had like no views at all. So how in the hell do you know who I was? And then like, oh, it was a weird situation. Like it was really weird. My, it, it's, it's weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure I embarrassed myself because people are like, he thinks he's famous, he has 50 followers. And then like everyone in the entire school thinks that you're like a, like a joke. But it turns out he was famous. Like he was like actually like somehow without the likes because what makes you famous sometimes? This video has a lot of views. I want to see it now. That's what makes you famous, right? Well, if you don't have any views, how can you become famous? That's what I'm saying. I still got famous without the views. Like that's that's like it's, it's crazy. It's like impossible. So basically, Taylor Swift and I were little kids together in kindergarten, and I had a crush on her. Cause let's face it, Taylor Swift when she was a little girl, damn pretty, very strong athlete too. She was very very fast, and uh, and so like I always had a crush on her, and she was my first girlfriend. We held hands, and the teacher told us we weren't allowed to hold hands, and that's what a lot of the time I put publish songs. I'm trying to publish songs about whatever happened, even if they're awful, and. Uh, so um, I have a song about that, uh, even though it's bad. And um, basically, um, that's why I liked her is because our old relationship, but then it really was like stupid. It was like, why, like constantly, like why do I have to be in a relationship with this person? I think that's probably why she was ready to be done with me because I was constantly going, why did you choose Taylor Swift for me? This is not my type. And I thought my type was Katy Perry. It turned out I was mixed up about who, who, because Katy Perry looks like other people and they all used to kind of look alike when they were young. They all had that really big eyes. You know that like freaking like most beautiful woman in the world look anyways um yeah and now um molly is it's it's, it's kind of like almost like impossible it's like i don't believe it sometimes but then i i know she's 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 probably a good person to give money to if i have to but i went on a mission trip with her and that's how i really know her uh, and then she's my girlfriend we broke up because she was too young um yeah so um I figure if all my art, like I have a movie called Prank Day about uh, Valentine's Day where a person hates Valentine's Day. So he goes out and pulls pranks on people all day and he partners up with a girl and then it turns like crazy. There's a plot twist and it hasn't been finished. So she would have rights to that movie. And then there's a movie um, or there's my TV show, The Cult of Triptolemus, which is about a cult of people or it's about a people that start a religion that's a cult dedicated to the god Triptolemus, which is the god of agriculture, so they can have a legal right to, to do drugs. And so it's actually about a drug trafficking organization, but you don't know that. It's about a person that starts a religion and they're bringing back paganism. And so, um, it, but it, it, it's got all kinds of twists in it, but I haven't written that much of it. Um, I feel like it's pretty weak right now, but, um, and then there's my other movie uh, about a Texan who um, is a transgender metrosexual who's in love with um, a transgender uh, man um, named Andy, and uh, therefore he is gay. Like, he's like a gay person, and he, he identifies as homosexual because he is in love with a transgender person. But then he has this complicated relationship where she can't help it, but she loves someone else too, but she still loves him because he they, they're like this dynamic duo. They're incredible. One of them, one of the, they, they have this team of people. One of them's a gunsmith, likes to work on those guns. Which, by the way, my guns, if the Smithsonian wants them, I guess they could have them. I feel like my, my grandpa's shotgun, I, I drew a little bit on it. I could give it to the Denver Museum of Art if they want. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Ken Jennings, what's that museum called? I can't remember. I think it's Denver Museum of Art or something. All right, that's, I, I know I'm still doing my will. Uh, all right. Basically, Taylor and I broke up when she went with Calvin Harris. And I was like, all right, you want a DJ who's good looking? Congratulations. Don't give a fuck. And that's the thing. That was a pretty good breakup for me. It was probably the best breakup of all time. I think it was caused by uh, Taylor sending people to stalk me a little bit in Santa Barbara. <laughs> and I was told in my head, hit on every girl you meet. So I hit on every girl I meet, and that's the thing about me, I don't pick up on very many women. Uh, usually it's uh, when I'm told to pick up on them. All right, so uh, that's the full story. Last will and testament. Hope you enjoy how much money am I making. What happens when I cause a revolution? You get real money. Yeah, after I'm dead, you can get rich.
congratulations. I'm sure you're not rich already. 